beginning, I put on bone cell, fox cell. T cell is that. Have a look at the body, okay? Come out. T cell should be this, like that. So every, so why are you stepping back? Don't step back. What? Uncomfortable, because it's always at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at that point, you want to keep going back. Yeah. So at that point, if you can have, T cell is not this, like that. Now here I can step forward. Of course I can step forward to create energy and do stuff, you know, but that's T cell from the beginning. So hold, okay, let's T cell. Get ready, let's T cell. From the beginning it's like that. <laughs> so on impact, so that, that's how it can be used in a fight. It's not mindful Wing Chun way, it's actually the Wing Chun way. This is a real concept of center line and triangulation. All of us do it, all of us say it, all of us teach it. But it's really like that. That's the most efficient way to triangulate your energy forward. Not just to look triangle and just look with your eyes. Really, you're trying to let your energy and your mass forward, and by interception, you're already touching like that. So, at the point of contact, as you're coming in, if you can have that all in, and against a, 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 a you know, continuous punch, you intercept like that, and you go beast mode as, as much as them, you match it, but you're coming with this engine, mm -hmm. theoretically, there's more chance of you coming out on top. But it has to be trial and tested. You know, maybe someone can do it. Uh, we have a lot of. Um, cameras on but I don't care because it's a fact but we have a lot of teachers in this lineage that are very powerful like you hold their arm they can boom boom like that but as soon as you tease out or let alone sparring they, it goes to shit it goes out the door they can only they've only trained themselves to do it with one thing because they haven't pressure tested it I didn't pressure test it for nine years or ten years now I'm going back to it because my students want to start competing so I'm training them up rather than saying you do this I'm putting padded up padding up and doing myself because I, I'm still young enough to do that and not get hurt, you know. But but I realize how much, how difficult it is to actually apply it, mm. even in sparring situation, when my students, which I can throw around, when they're really going for my head. I, I notice for myself how difficult it is to keep this on. I can still, if I go, if I just go in, I can still rip their throat out. If I go beast mode, like if I go crazy, and I do that sometimes and back them up against the wall, but that's just aggression and overpowering. But if I have to use just skill, all right, I won't really put it on, but I have to stop them from getting, I have to be untouchable. I'm not untouchable if I'm not going all in and all in, you know, like poker, all in, let's go. Who's going to kill who, you know? If it's not like that, if I'm just going, all right, let's get out of here, they, my students get hits on me. So that makes me, hold on, something's wrong. They can't really hit me in T-cell, but they can hit me in sparring. I need to do more sparring, you know? So yeah. this, if you're honest with yourself and you put yourself out there and you ask your students or your training partner to really go for it, a lot of things starts to get exposed. Could I ask one last question? Sure. I hope it's...